<laughs> All right, well, everyone, hey, welcome uh, to session nothing. 11. Yo, what's up, Skyler? Oh, I see it now. Never mind. Yeah. So I get second and third level, you said? Yep. Wait, I can use desiccate. Fuck yeah. Oh, no, I can't. Forced? Hey, everyone? Yeah. I'm going to go on the stream real quick. I'd like you to all just take a gander at what I am... What is this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so y it is fourth level, but I also want you to take note of the spelling. Oh, that is what I'm. That is what I'm. Ah. Uh, oh, wait, it is it's spelled wrong. Level. It, it is, is forced desocate. Level. It is not only is it desocate. It is forced level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. my. I was using Forced. copy pasta, then it was first level. I was just going through and changing it. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, spells for you. Scott. You should be sorry. Yeah. Okay, hey, you, know, no. you don't have to use any of these spells. We can just take them out of the I don't game. Think I will. Uh, hey, yeah, hey, it's David. Not like you're gonna use spells anyway, Skylar. Why didn't you let me go to prom, Mom? <laughs> because you're hey, David, and I know you wouldn't have fun. David, you're great. <laughs> All right, I so yes, uh, those of you who requested magic items do in fact receive your magic items. Uh, I get the gloves of punch. Yes, plus one to attack and damage. Cool. Under armor so strikes. Splint armor. Another plus one. <coughs> yes, so you get your magic five. splint armor. Uh, Holy shit. Where the fuck is the D6 plus? <sighs> Yeah, and you all are currently in the, the halls of Glitterheim. Mm hmm. Want to get a job and or do more adventuring hey. so that I can get more money so that I can afford to get magic items. Hold on, David. Yes, what's up? My, how, how do I change my fucking attack to all the correct damage? Uh. So let's see. Anipe. Uh, damage. Dex plus yeah. Does that look right? Uh, your dexterity modifier plus two. Where's the plus two coming from? Because it was one before I changed it. Because I the, think um, the plus one was already counted, counting the fact already, that you got a magic item, so oh, it should okay. only be plus one. Okay. okay. Yeah. Unless you're getting a plus one from somewhere that I don't know about, so. Alright, uh, I will be right back. I'm gonna have something to drink. Cool. So yeah, you all are in the halls of Glitterheim. Uh, you all are. I'm assuming you all are at a tavern somewhere doing adventury, drinky things. Most likely. This is this is this is this is a relatively large city. So if you guys. You guys, you have many avenues of pursuit for your options here. You have many options here. So what would you all like to do? Uh. Oh yeah, there was mention of a library. <laughs> there is a library. I would like to visit that. Is... Ooh, are you guys going to venture forth as a party, or are you guys going to split up? I mean, I re if other people are going to go like into the library, then I will probably try to find work. Because I have returned. We're splitting up, then. We're splitting the party? You're splitting up? Yeah. Alright. I'm splitting the party. I mean, it's in a city. Yeah, I mean, we're not all, we're not leaving the city. We're just the doing city is invaded by things. rabid monks. Did you say rabid monks or rabbit monks? Both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rabid rabbit monks. Uh so yeah, so who's who's going towards who's going to the library? I need to know that first. I would like to go to the library. That sounds fun. Like would there books. be any books in Skaven? Yes. Or you would assume so. If there are books on Skaven, they would be at the library. I mean they'd be the Skaven equivalent of like a, a Jim Crow book. 
I assume. Hey, hey, that that that's probably more than what the Skaven have. The Skaven have literally zero literature. So, why do you think I'm almost illiterate? Blackface, more like rat face. Am I right, kids? Okay, Vill villain's gonna go uh, split up and go see the slave pens, probably. All right. Uh, so, slave pens library. Who else is going where? Uh, find a job. Doing I right will let you know finding a job is not an effective way of making money. You'll make maybe two gold pieces a day. or a Two week. gold pieces? Oh, two there we go. <laughs> Much more effective would be to do adventuring, adventuring stuff. Yeah, but no, I am not quest. doing that by myself. <laughs> huh? I doubt that adventuring by myself is a good idea. Pro tip, stick with your party. I'll just follow the party for now until we decide to go you subjugate something. Yay, team library trip. Team library trip, if except for Dylan who's going, going to the library. slave pens. If everyone else is going to the library, I'll go as well. Yes, who knows? Maybe there will be, in fact, a good opportunity for money. Um, yeah. Karaoke also gets to excitedly yell at one of you guys. But whispering voices of Villain, whatever sure fun, interesting like facts. The rest of your party and going to the library. And Skylar, you can stop live streaming now. I thought I did. No, you're still live streaming. Uh, I'll I'll join the rest of the team. Oh no, it started again. Go, going to the library. All right. So yeah, you all, you all. It's it's not hard to find the library. You guys ask around a little bit. Uh, in fact, you all find someone a uh, an elf wearing blue robes with uh with uh like the insignia of an eye like on the on the clasp of his cloak i am immediately he, interested he well he says i'm going to the library i can show you all the, the way and he he just starts walking off in a direction uh oh, hiroki oh, follows right. and asks his name hi i'm hiroki who might you be my name is josiah Say, Josiah, where'd you get that? Uh, he points to the eye insignia. Um, give me one second. He says, uh, he says, uh, this is the symbol of my order. And that, that, that's the explanation he gives you at first. Or, Upon your asking. What sort of order? He he looks at you and gives you like a slight smile and he says, We are an order dedicated to the search of knowledge and the pursuit of truth. Uh, at this point, Hiroki's eyes light up and he tries to keep himself from, from uh, being too pushy about things, but he is anyway. Um, he asks... So, anything from historical knowledge to knowledge of the now? He's saying that, asking you. He smiles and he says, there are many secrets of this world. Many, in fact. Uh, and he, he pulls out like a, like a small, a small lute and starts playing as he is walking through the city. So eventually, I want to join the song. <laughs> you, all, you all eventually come up to a like a relatively like a, a very large building. Um, it's it's like it's you it's like a cul-de-sac except the entire like the entire like uh, the entire this like this building takes up like both sides of a street and then like the dead end of a street. So it's like a big like U-shaped building that like just wraps around this like ed and and like this dead end street and it's it's um it's massive it is a large building and unlike many of the other like larger buildings it's not carved out it's not like carved out of the mountain it seems like they like it's made out of mm, sorry brick it's made out of uh like uh marble marble like marble stone that's been stacked into like into this gigantic structure so they played Minecraft and built something out of the marble that they thought was useless. Basically, yeah. And, 
and he says, the main entrance is this way. I, uh, I will be going a different direction. I hope, I hope you find what you're looking for. And he, like, gives you, like, a short bow. And then he, uh... Hiroki bows. Nice meeting you, Josiah. <laughs> he nods his head, and he, he heads off to, like, a side entrance, and, uh... Yeah, are you... You all walk in, or are you guys gonna watch him for a second? Or what are you all doing? Hiroki's gonna watch him until he's gone. Perception check. Um... I'm gonna use sidekick for this. He's invisible. Where are you rolling, Emma? So, um, I rolled on sidekick, but I got a five. <laughs> um, Where did you roll? Uh, sidekick. It, I rolled DMing sidekick, because I'm not on the roll 20 right now, because I'm eating uh, dinner. Uh, yeah, I trust you. Yeah, and so... I mean, I rolled a... I, why would I tell you I rolled yeah, a five so if I wanted to cheat? <laughs> you, you, What you see is you see him... You see him walk towards the side door, and he, he holds up his hand, and, like, he conjures a like a magic sigil in his hand you can't you don't make out the sigil enough you just see him do like summon a flash of light in his hand and then a door opens and he walks in wow so cool i mean he doesn't think that but he thinks it <laughs> yeah and so you all are you all are currently at the library uh i immediately go to looking for something similar to his insignia uh, make me an investigation check. Everyone or just Hiroki? Just Hiroki. The rest of you are free to do what you would like at the library. Uh, just there are many there are many people like wandering about of all races and uh, things like that. The there are there are Skaven in the library, though they are uh, they are Sidekick mostly... loves to hate me today. <laughs> The the Skaven are mostly like running errands, putting books on shelves and things like no, that. Is this? This only happened. No thanks. What'd you get to? I have rolled an eight. Walmart. Um, we need to go to Walmart. Uh, David. So, when I was waiting for it, it's not hard. You uh, see the insignia in a lot of places. Oh, can you return them? Like yeah. in, in a lot yeah, of like yeah. those white uh, beaters. Like a lot of the engravings, like the fancy engravings in the on the library, but you don't know. You can't figure out what it actually means. But you, yeah, you see it. It's quite 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 it's like a quite common like embellishment or like in, like embroidery or engraving within like the mosaics and like the the artwork of the library cool <clears throat> cool um i peruse the stuff is there anything that like particularly stands out as far as books go uh, what section are you, like, what are you, are you looking for anything in particular, or are you just browsing things that are interest that the you I'm just might be? browsing, um, of course, my eyes will tend to gravitate towards stuff on merit, but I'm really just looking for anything. Roll me a d100. Roll you a d100. Eh. Eh. Let's see. Mm, okay, so there's there's not really books on merit, but there is one book that you see that catches your eye. It is um, what it's labeled as. Uh, it's, it's the title of the book is the calamity and the fuck. What is the word? Sorry. Words words are failing me right now. I need to check my notes. That is fine. Take your time. Uh, uh, the calamity and aspects. What is what is myth and what is uh, what is history? All right. I crack it open and I start reading. So what you get is like this. This is a very like skeptic, skeptical uh, position in um, of like a scholar in history, 
And what it says is, it's like, did the calamity really even happen? Uh, and it's it's like it's like you know like the uh, like the denier because like it, it's it is relatively known that the calamity happened. Like there yeah. like impact like there's like fields of craters and things like that where like the calamity like has definitely had this impact on the world. But uh, what this book asserts is that the calamity didn't happen, and that uh, the the aspects don't, didn't never existed uh and it said like it's it's very convenient that like you know all of the aspects took like a like a vow of celibacy and blah 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 you know like there there's no there's no lineage to trace them back to all we have are statues and legends and myths right right um, right we're gonna have a skeptic now as a part of the group <laughs> I'm basically the fantasy equivalent of a flat earther. Uh, the one thing that it does say is it's a, like it says that there are those who claim to be descendants of the the aspect of the sun, but like he, but like this guy goes into like great lengths to like say they're liars and they're just looking for attention. Blah blah blah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Make me an intelligence check. An intelligence. Where the fuck is my intelligence? Okay. Yeah, and so there is there is a sigil of uh of a of like an Illumkarian like house household. Okay. Yeah. Uh can I wave Hiroki over? Yeah. I come over, defeated in my search, but also pleasantly surprised at what I found. I point at the sigil and ask you if you know what it is. Do you know what this is? Well, masks not required. In is it a prominent Illumicar household? Uh, yes. No, it's no. really not. It's, uh... They, it is... You might have seen this before, but if you have, it would be in, it would be in, like, it would be correlated to a, uh, towards a, uh, shrine. Most I know is that this thing would probably be associated with a shrine, but other than that, this isn't, like, a prominent house. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for your help, anyways. Um, are there, like... Uh, like library clerks around? Who might... There are some skaven skittering about who seem to be holding that job. Okay, I ask, I walk up and I ask, do you know what this sigil is? One of them looks up at you and shakes their head no. Do you know of anyone who might know? Uh, he shakes his head yes and skitters and starts skittering off. I follow him. Yeah, so he eventually leads you to a desk. And sitting at the I desk followed too. Desk. Now I'm curious. There's a there's an old dwarf sitting at the desk and he's like thumbing through pages. Pages of some big manuscript. Okay. Excuse me. For crutches. He looks up at you and looks back at his manuscript. I could use some help identifying this symbol and I point to it and show him. He looks down, he looks back up at you, and he says, I am not I am not an expert in this. Why do you come asking? You ask for help? I do, I do not know. Do you know someone who might know what this is? There are books in this library to tell you. Look it up. Are you okay. not a learned person? Uh, what, what does the symbol yeah, so look like again? Where would I find things on Illumkarian households? And he, he points you in the direction of, of, of like, one of, like one of the wings of the library. And, I go. Uh, what it looks like is it looks like a uh, it looks like the symbol is of a sword, but the uh, like the cross guard of the sword and like where the pommel like meets the blade or like where the hilt meets the blade is uh, a rising sun. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go to the section that he looked 
at or that he pointed to and start researching. Yeah. Okay. Make me an investigation check with intelligence. Investigation. Uh, the fuck do I do that? Woo! Ooh. If you want advantage, Hiroki can assist you. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Go ahead and roll again, then. Hmm. It ain't much better, too. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's how you guys spend some of your time. Uh, Atali and Villain and Alanio, what are you all? And Adric, what, what are you all doing in the library? I'll probably go look up kind of what happened to my god in the, like, however many years I have not been alive for and, like, just general history of what's happened. Okay, yeah. So what you've discovered is that your god is part of the pantheon, what is which is now called like a uh, part of the old faith, of 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 Voss. Mm -hmm. uh, the the old faith like it um, it's very much how like uh, the the druids and like the pagan gods are are considered like we're considered the, like the old gods in like uh, in like early like medieval times, right? So they were eventually persecuted and driv driven out. Um, small, it is believed that small sex sects of them still exist somewhere in the Emerald Forest, but uh, they are not the prominent religion of the land anymore. Um, yeah, and you also come across uh, a bounty board or like a like a work board where people will like place place uh, like requests for certain jobs and things like that. What is on it? Uh, some of them are really like simple, like uh, help me find my cat, uh, help me prove my husband is cheating on me, like you know shit like that. And then also the one the one with the biggest bound with the biggest reward. <laughs> The one with the biggest reward just says cheat on my husband. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the biggest reward is it's at, 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 at big in big letters at the top it says adventurers wanted searching searching the um, searching the mines for tombs, treasures and artifacts. Is it a like a you take it in order to like say you're doing it kind of a deal or yeah that's what, what? it looks like and well what it says is is like it's uh contact this person and there's a person uh and it, it gives you like like uh, like a place to like find him and it's uh he what it says the perf uh, the, the contact information says uh come to like the university like the glitterheim university uh ask for uh Professor Aranosto. Aranosto. Yes. Sounds dangerously close to Ernesto. <laughs> it's Ernesto, but a dwarf. It is actually not a dwarven name. You would know that. Yeah, that's pretty racist, thinking everything's a dwarven name. Jeez. Yeah. So yeah, that is, that is what you find. Um... <laughs> No one makes a and comment the, about the, my the, dwarf. The gold reward is is quite substantial. It is uh, the gold reward is uh, the gold the gold reward is um, is uh, sorry words. The gold reward is uh, seventy five percent of all treasure found on expeditions. Interesting. So I guess I'll like. Take it and wander around and find everyone and be like, hey, yeah, guys interested in doing this thing? And then keep wandering around and trying to find other people. Yeah. Because I am assuming it is a very large library. Yeah, it, it, when she gets around to wherever Hiroki and any they are, Hiroki will follow her. Yeah, so uh, Villain and Atali, is there anything you all would like to do in the library? Uh, Atali can't read. I need to find someone. Who are you looking for? Uh, a scribe of some sort would be preferred. Yeah, there are scribes. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just... 
Not literally, but I'll grab the closest one. Do you mean? <laughs> of course he has to say not literally. His entire gimmick is grab. Oh, hello there. How can I help you? you? Grab I from you? It's you, oh. you, you. The closest grab you find is a small little like halfling. Hello there, little yeah. one. Say again? What can I do for you? Would there be some way for me to um, check the records of entry into the city? Oh, uh, maybe. Why, why do you ask? You need permission from the guards to look at that. I'm searching for someone. I believe they've came through um, a while back. Um, thing to ask, are the, the, what do you call it, the dates? Are there dates marked in the guy's journal? Yeah, there are dates marked in the guy's journal. Sweetness. Yeah, and so he goes, um, well, uh, I'm not sure that I can do that. That's like a matter of security and such, and you'd have to get permission from the guards. You know. <laughs> Who would I need to talk to? I assume one of the guards. All, all we do is hold the records here. Uh, those are kept under lock and key. Hmm. Thank you for your time. Yeah, of course. Uh, stay out of trouble, miss. And he like wanders back to his desk and continues transcribing something. Uh, yeah, and is, is there anything else you want to do, Justin? Or are you going to go talk to the guards? Or what are you going to do? Yeah, I'll go talk to the guards. All right. Uh, so we're going to do villain, and then we'll, go, we'll, have you, we'll, talk to, we'll have you talk to the guards. Okay, so Villain, what are you up to? So v Villain, because he is ever so smart, is basically uh, like trying to find any books that have the same symbol as the amulet that he got. Make me an investigation check. But, but it's also literally just walking around, so... Yeah, make me an investigation check. Yeah, I could possibly so, possibly you, bump you, into you, someone. You you find you find you find something. Um, you're able to you're able to like figure out that they are uh, they're part of the they're the only we like reference you have towards them is they are a uh, they are a group of there you get you get the you get the fact that they are called the keepers uh but past that reference to them is very obscure and very vague but you you do find reference you you, you do find the reference like that symbol referenced as the sigil of the of the of the keepers so uh i i like tap one of the skaven not knowing that, or not realizing that I'm still, like, a dwarf. Yes. And, like, he, he looks, like, very, like, he looks at you and goes, and, like, cocks his head. Hi, yes, friend. Do you perhaps know where the nearest person that knows how to read is? He, like, blinks at you and, like, shrugs his shoulders. Uh, the, the... Man who read the man thing. Man who reads, Fred. Is this in Skaven? No. Okay. He 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 looks at you really confused and starts to walk backwards. No, Fred. Uh, the the person who keeps the books. Yes. Yes, the person who keeps the books. Yeah, he he he. he it's, you saying that he points he points toward he points you in a direction, and so, uh, like toward towards a desk. So, uh, Bill follows. Yeah. Okay. The, so the you, desk. You come up. You come up on the desk uh, where 
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Come up on the desk where An Anipe and Hiroki are. <clears throat> and this dwarf is just flipping through a manuscript. Why, hello there, friend! He looks up at you and says, can I help you? Why, yes, you can help me on this fine drinking day. I am looking for a book that is like this. And then he pulls out the book. He says, then look around where you found that book. Yes, it says something about keeps. I am looking for something that has keeps in it. Books on architecture are that way. And he points you in a direction. Is it, so Anipe is also there? Yeah, Anipe and Hiroki. What does the book look like again? Uh, it is a book, and the title of the book is uh, Conspiracies and Secret Societies in Our World. <laughs> I ask, what what did your fake dwarf name, what was your fake dwarf name again? One second. <laughs> One second. Divil Grimbeard! <laughs> Divil Grimbeard? <laughs> Young lad. Divil. Divil Why do you want to know about this? <laughs> I am trying to read about keeps and then he holds it up. Keeps! What the fuck is a keep? What kind of keep? And he flips to the page and then points at the symbol. At What's point, the symbol? Three of you make me a perception check. Did my mouse go? Is... Okay, mine's not awful. Villain. It's not good either. You notice someone duck. You notice someone like uh, someone. You barely notice it, but someone in the shadows is uh, like. Like, someone in the shadows, like, looks at you, uh, and then, like, goes through a door in the back. Like, in, like, in, like, the background. Okay, what sort of symbol was it, though? Uh, it is... It's a, basically a butterfly. Oh, like the one on the holy symbol that you properly hid well, from Hiroki? The symbol of, like, the secret, the, 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 the keepers? Because uh, I'm I'm looking for my the oh, symbol of the amulet. The of God, I thought you were looking for the symbol of the keepers, like the no. This is this is the eye, the eye. Oh, no, I, I didn't really care about that. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Well, Big oof. I guess we retcon that. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, you're looking for you're looking for the the butterfly wings. Yes. Right? All right. Uh, let me see. I put it in some notes somewhere. Sorry, Emma. I thought I thought Nick was helping you, but turns out he wasn't. I mean, Hiroki's probably gonna read the like the book in its full at some point because it, it, he just discovered a secret quote society. So uh, it, it, <laughs> could we also just say that villain has that like he's picking up books also, and he yeah, just okay, has yeah. that as yeah, a part. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll allow that. So yeah, so the. Did you eat those? Where's the bowl? Watch it. Oh. Okay. okay. So okay. you 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 do find that this is. Uh... So slight retcon. He still has the book. It's just he's not looking through it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> No, I thought it was gonna work out. <laughs> yeah, give me one second. There is. Hold on. It's fucking hell. Um. Also, I like how you have the keepers, but in another character of mine's backstory in another campaign, her guild is the keepers, and she's a watcher in that guild. So she records data for them to keep. Okay, yeah, so you 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 do find the you do find the the symbol. You do find the symbol. It is the symbol of, uh... 
It, it is the symbol of a fey trickster goddess. Man, this would help if I could actually read. <laughs> Hiroki so will read it for you. <laughs> this sign won't stop me. You're, you're oh, oh. And you, you, you find, you match the pictures, but you can't read. You're like... <laughs> No, no, the thing is, is that he's semi-literate. He just doesn't know. He doesn't care enough to read it, actually. Yeah, but, yeah, so you, you, you do find, you do, you are able to match the city. Well, I mean, strictly speaking, you are literate. It's just the wrong language. <laughs> True. And even in Skaven, he's not. He, he's not a great singer, he let's just say that. Smarts. Yeah. You get street smarts, not book smarts. It's it's street literacy. So he, he's just looking through the books for pictures, and then he finds the book with the eye picture. Yeah, Yeah. okay. Hiroki will read that part to you. What do we discover about the fey trickster goddess? Uh, you discover that her name is... Uh, hold on, let me make a note of this somewhere. Her name is Eridesia. Oh boy, I'm gonna need this. Yeah, I will put it in. Eridesia. She is a fey trickster goddess, uh, and also the the goddess of. Uh, she is she is under she falls under what is known as the court of summer. Okay. Which is generally associated with the element of fire. Okay, never mind. Yeah, summer that... like, like hot things, friend. Yeah, so that is um, that is that is what that is basically what you find, and then Hiroki, you do you do notice the book on um, secret societies and conspiracies of our time. <laughs> that villain's just like holding. Yeah, Hiroki's like, gonna ask villain if it'd be all right if he read that. What do you mean? I can read it for you, friend. I am a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> he he has it upside down. Hiroki's gonna fix it, but read over his shoulder, but let him read it out loud. <laughs> hmm. We're, we're gonna get nowhere, just saying. Hmm. Yes, but this is entertaining, RP. Yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> okay, uh, David, you need to tell me sort of what it is so that I can translate so, so it you, into villain. So, no, no, no. Are you, so, are you flipping through? The, are you just reading the entire book? Or are you flipping through to... Uh, I'm looking for the pictures, let's be honest. Yeah, he's looking for the pictures. Oh, so if you come across the right one, Hiroki will stop you and say, I want to learn about that. <laughs> Roll a D. How many pages of this book? <laughs> well, he's skimming it, so whenever so, so there's a so picture. You're just flipping through it until you find the, the... So you guys, you see the eye. And what it is, is... Um, what it is, is it's... Uh, it's like, it, it's like you know, a, like a very like embellished eye. Uh, but surrounding the eye is a lock. So, like, the eye is the key, the keyhole. He, he flips What's the book it? around. Like, look at this. This is a very beautiful picture. So Hiroki holds the book and looks like he's trying to look at the picture, but really he's trying to read the page before. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, okay. So what you get is that this is... the They are the keeper. They are they are known as the keepers. Or, uh, like, they're, they're short... They're short... They're, sh like, ref referred to as the keepers... But their the full name of their society is uh, the Keepers of Sacred Knowledge. Okay. Duly noted. He lets uh, villain take the book back before he gets suspicious and goes, "Yeah, yeah that's villain, what I was curious villain, about." Villain, villain. At this point, you do notice the guy in the background, like go through go through a, like a door, and you you notice that he was watching you. Um, yeah, and so you, the other thing that you note is that like they are very secretive and they're like almost like very little is known about them and that um 
So, they collect knowledge. So, where so they villain, keep that knowledge mystery. Villain sort what? of places the book by Hiroki and then heads off. Well, Hiroki's enveloped. Yay! So yeah, Hiroki's so, like... Yeah, and so about this point, you all have found each other and uh, Alanya has uh, come up and... Uh... What about the one that spoke to the guards? Oh yeah, we're gonna go do that. Yeah, my bad. All right. Uh, so Justin, you go find a guard, uh, like the guard, the guard outpost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is easy. I'm assuming I'm just looking for the building with all the pointy hats. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go. Um, pointy. And pointy uh, try and find someone who's not actively looking pretty busy. Uh, so if you walk into like the like one of the big guard towers, um, yeah, it's it's not that it's not that difficult to find somebody who's just like sitting there and he's like writing on papers and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I'll try to get their attention respectfully and not too intrusively. He looks <laughs> up and he says, he says, he he says, how can I help you? Um, do you have a crime to report? Alas, no. <laughs> um, but he raises an eyebrow and uh, says, "Then can I help you? How can I help you?" Um, I am trying to get access to the um entry records. I'm uh looking for someone I believe to came through here. Um, not what a lot of authority. Are you looking for this person? Is this a personal matter, or are you seeking to extradite them for an, uh for another from another government? Yes. <laughs> Technically, that is true. Yes. Strictly speaking. And who are you? Who are you? What? Who are you representing in this endeavor? I am representing myself, the Watai tribe, and the Arch Paladins of Hershepsika. Is that the name? Yep, works. Cool. Uh, and he says he he nods and he says, "All right." Uh, and he he says, "What what's what is the name of you are looking for? I will give you access to. I will give you a writ of permission to access this person's." This person's of course, you had to make the name rhyme. Uh, it's just I hate rhyming names. Uh. Uh. Dalin of the Atalan family. Uh -huh. he, yeah. he nods. He nods and he gives you a writ of paper and he hands it to you. Thank you kindly. Uh, he, he nods back and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then I guess I'll head back to the library. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you head back to the library. And uh, yeah, he he did he did go through this city. You f you find that out. He he did go through the city, and the dates match up with the the journal entry. Uh, do the records? Let's see. Do the records have what do you call it? Uh, a familiar like Azolution name that also like walked in or something. Uh, well, that's the thing. You weren't given. You were only given given access to this person's, like when they entered and exited. You weren't uh, given access to anyone else's. So yes, you were given confirmation that he was in the city from like the dates that his journal like said, like that he was in this area. How many times did he visit the library? Uh, you don't have records of him visiting the library. You have records of him entering the city and leaving the city. Oh, uh, oh, entering the city. There you go. How long did he stay? He stayed for uh, six days, give or take. That's <clears throat> not just passing through. That's yeah, achieving something. something. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, that is what you find. And at this point, 
Alania comes up and like waving this um, this poster piece around. Alania, we are looking for an artifact. <laughs> yeah, I mean, might as well. Come and a little extra cash on hand would not be. Bad. We could also, with this, figure out where they keep the artifacts. And if they're keeping the artifacts, they might have your artifact. Indeed. I will be right back once again. I apologize. Or at least if they're keeping a portion of the artifacts. So, uh, so, so uh, Alania, what, what do you say when you're introducing this to the, to the group? Well, I, like, took the piece of paper, so I'll just kind of, like, show them the paper. Okay. And just ask if they are interested in also doing this. Hiroki looks at how light his money bag is on the money that I literally had him spend on RP alone. <laughs> yeah, so... Is... And goes, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. So do you all leave the library and head to the university, or would you all like to stay around the library for a little bit longer? Uh, well, Villain wanted to oh. look where the character went. I asked about... Character. So I ask gonna, if there's a library the checkout policy. That, or are you just going to wander off on your own? Just going to wander off. All right. Uh, everyone make me perception checks to see villain wandering off. I saw nothing. My perception on I don't know if I see nothing, but I probably see nothing because he's got high enough stealth, probably. Well, I'm not stealthing away. I'm By just... the way, David. Yo, what's up? I spend the time in the library looking on uh, books of monsters of the local region. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Easily. Easily done. The monsters of the local region are there are some, there are some like burrowing monsters and like some like creatures. And beyond that, there's occasional problem with like uh, dire wolves and things like that. But, uh, just have Skaven listed as a monster. Oh yeah, another thing I to ask if the library has a checkout policy. Uh, no, the library does not. You're allowed to read books while you're in the library, and you are allowed to pay a okay. scribe to make a copy of like certain pages that you can just like take and like have. But you're not allowed to take out like the manuscripts because they're very rare in this day and age, right? Okay, so he'll try flipping around to find the Elumkarian symbol. From earlier, does he find it in that book, the secret societies? This, not in the secret societies book. Okay. Because he can't quite put his finger on it. <laughs> That's the kind of vibe that I think is getting yeah, from so that, right? So before, before we cut to everyone else going to the to the to the professor. Professor Aronosto, uh, you all. We're gonna cut to villain. So villain, you do you you approach this door? The uh, yes, and he, and he knocks on it. Um. Make me make me make me make me a performance. Make me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Constitution. Oh, what? Oh, no, nope, that's constitution roll. Uh, saving roll. Uh, constitution. Oh, nat fail. Yikes. You, you immediately, like, you, the door opens, something's thrown in your face, and you start coughing, and, uh, everything goes black. Nice. Uh, well, oh, did it? Villain's gonna be assassinated. See you guys later. Did people know if villain disappeared? You had us roll perception checks and didn't follow uh, up on that. Hiroki, Hiroki would have noticed, especially with his new loud dwarven persona. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Um, Hiroki's gonna try and like. Does he like pass out? Is that what you mean by everything goes black? Yes. Chloroform. Okay, Hiroki's gonna try and like pick him up before anyone can nope, do anything uh, else. Well, 
no, you notice he's gone, but like this is after. Uh, the uh, uh, oh, after the fact. Into this room. Unlucky. Yikers. Bye, you, you notice. You notice that. You notice that he's not with you as you all are leaving the library. Basically. <laughs> We're missing someone. Hmm. We should probably go find that someone. Yeah. Oh shit. So how how old or how how much beard did your dwarven persona have? Uh, it was probably down to like knees. Okay, and uh, what sort of like clothing were you wearing, or was the illusion of you wearing? He he was wearing stuff for a cleric, or not a cleric, but a religious person. Okay. Religious follower of Valea, to be exact, like, but... Like a friar or something? Oh, yeah. like a Valea. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, so... You, villain, you wake up uh, in a room. You're in a chair. Your hands... You're not bound at all, but your illusion has been dropped as you've been knocked out. And uh, standing, standing opposite you in like this, in this, in this, it's, uh, there's some sort of light, like there's some sort of arcane light. Um, you're, you're like, the light's focused on you and like in the shadows, you see on the outskirts, this, this figure in this cloak walking around and all you see glittering, uh, glittering is like the gold, the gold, like uh, cloak clasp with the eye on it. Hmm. He's just watching you. His like hands are like folded in, like it tucked into the sleeves of the other, like, uh, Tucked into like the sleeves, he's just looking at you. So what are you, human scaven thing? He goes. He yes, goes, yes. Out yeah. to kill me. Yes. <laughs> I. We. Why are you searching around our? Why are you looking for us? Ah, you think I'm looking for anything? I can barely read. Yes, yes. We know the book you picked up. Very inadequate you're reading. You're the one who came into to our halls. Very inadequate reading, yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, he did this all for finding out who his goddess is. <laughs> now he's tangled up with these guys. <laughs> I don't know, Reed. I am Simple Skaven. Yes. Simple Skaven thing. <laughs> he, 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 he looks. He looks you up and down. He goes, there's no such thing. Many in this culture believe Skaven to be beasts or pests. Our order believes that race transcend... That... Uh, that Intelligence transcends race. race. Who are you? Why are you here? And why are you looking into the keepers? Oh, obviously, uh, I am Skaven, yes. Skaven friend, yes. <laughs> you will begin to, you will answer our questions, or we will make you answer them. <laughs> Go ahead and make him. <laughs> Oh boy, they don't know I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's gonna basically try to deceive them uh, by being called uh, Pride Stalker. Yes, yes, I, I am Pride Stalker. Yes. Make me a deception check. <laughs> so, Pride Stalker, why are you here? Hmm. Yes, yes, I, I am what here to. What does your god want with us? My god, I. A uh, great horned rat is god. Yes. What does he want with us? Uh, that was the wrong thing to say. Well, if, if he said something different, that would be much worse. This is true. 
Yeah, yes, uh, Great Horned Rat is uh, just protecting over simple me. I am traveling to become a Gracier. Yes, yes. Trying to learn about the lands. Yes. And why have you stumbled into our territory? I thought we had an understanding. Stumbled? No, no. I, so you I merely search then. looking. I'm merely search looking. Search looking for experience. Truths. Yes. The grace Truths here about the have world. told you that you do not come here. You do not look into this matter. Grace seers are old. Simple thinking. We need new ideas. Innovation. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> old old grace old grace seers are dumb, stupid. The co oh, so you think the the ceasefire that we have existed in for for hundreds of years is stupid. You seek to violate the ceasefire. You seek to incite war again. I seek to incite myself with knowledge. Yes. <laughs> the knowledge here is forbidden to you and your gray seers. But I am just a traveling gray seer. Yes. So you are you are a gray seer yourself then? Not seeking I am to a tra I am a I am training traveling greasy At this point he's going to cast zone of truth. The story is starting to contradict itself so he's going to cast zone of truth. And what's the saving throw? Villain, please make me it is a charisma saving throw. Well, that's not enough. You fail. I ask you again. What is your name, and why are you here? Villain, traveling, yes. Are you a gray seer? No, gray seer is dumb. Were you sent here by the gray seers? No, gray seer is dumb. Then why have you come investigating us? Investigating what? Investigating the keepers. Ah, the keeps. I had my friend read. I can't read. <laughs> Is that a lie? That's not lying. No, it, yeah, it's not lying. <laughs> he thinks and says... He thinks. He goes... You have stumbled upon something. Hi, yes, I stumble a lot. No one notices. I, I do. <laughs> I hide it. <laughs> I'm afraid we cannot let you leave. If you report this back to the Grey Seers and what you have seen here, it will result in war and violence. Grey Seers are dumb, though. That does not mean you will not report to them. You are Skaven, are you not? You report to the the Grey Seers, who then report to the Great Horned Rat. I, I do not report to anyone. Except myself. Except myself. <laughs> yes, yes. At this point, he notices your holy symbol and notices that it's not the Great Horned Rat. <laughs> well, w would it still be Valea since I had it nope. changed into that? Or well, actually, yeah, it would be because that doesn't require concentration. Nice. Actually, I well, can actually, get it. I can case, get in even more trouble. Yeah. Well, in that case, he he does he he doesn't believe you still, and he he says, hmm. and he uh he says, who do you follow? He's gonna try to pronounce the name. <laughs> I don't even know how I can screw it up I super do, I know, hard. I know it is not Valea. Or Disa. That is so horrifically wonderful. I love it. Mm. <laughs> or Disa. Or D. Sa. <laughs> he smiles and he says. Well, then I suppose there's no need for us to keep you here. Just know. No, I am done skating. 
You have stumbled onto something secret. And should it get out, we will find you. And we will erase you from the pages of history, as we have done so many times before. Not a lot of racing to be done. I am on no pages yet. He, <laughs> he, 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 he looks at you and he smiles and he says, good. Then I'll trust that you will keep this and us. And he gestures around a secret. Do I see? Uh, I, I've only been focused on him. Can I do a perception check yeah, to look around? Yeah. Yeah, so it's 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 a room. It's it's a stone room with like lit by like magical light. So he looks around and goes, "Yes, yes, secret. What secret?" And he smiles and he says, "Good." <laughs> Vill villains just internally going like, "What the fuck." <laughs> He and, seriously doesn't know what's a secret or not. And uh, with that, you are you are taken and you are like put back into the library. You are let back just in time for our friends to be concerned. Yeah. Hmm. Does he look like Skaven again, or? Is yeah, he he, again? He, so he did see what the uh, the Skaven looked like inside the building. Yeah, he did. So he's going to uh, basically transform into looking like one of them. Okay. He's or disgu uh, disguise. But still Skaven. Yeah. I just look like a slave. Hmm. Yep, well, so Skaven that's... slaves, they're yep, low brass. So... Yeah, villain. So he, he just has no idea what just happened, so he just walks out of the building. And yeah, you, you notice the rest of your party like arguing, saying, we should go back for him. No, we've got this thing to do. He's probably okay, you know? all that. And thing. then you just sort of like pop in. I hi, yes, I, hi, yes, I am helpful, full Skaven slave, yes. Skaven friend slave, yes. Hmm. That, <laughs> so, are you speaking like you normally speak now, rather than uh, the boisterous... Yeah. Well, well, he's disguised as a sl Skaven slave, so yeah. He's, he's, okay. he's, he's like a Skaven, basically. Yeah, so... Villain? <laughs> Great horned rat follower I am, yes. <laughs> He's racist about his own species. I'm just gonna kind of be chuckling in the back. I am book helper, yes. What happened to you? Bill, you can't read. Book helper. I can read Skaven. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was taken into a room. Dark room. They asked me a lot of questions. I don't know why. It sounds like you got fucking interrogated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they didn't even do anything mean. They didn't interrogate. They asked questions. That's what an interrogation is. No, they asked questions. They didn't cut off any limbs. Mm, mm, okay. <laughs> Okay. That's interrogation. Fair enough. Yeah, good point. Yes, yes. They no harm me. They just take me into a room, ask a lot of questions. Through dust Ooh. and face. What did they ask you? Name. Who I am. Why I'm here. What did you respond with? Zone of truth. Had to respond truth. 
Hiro King puts his <laughs> palm of his hand to his forehead. At this point, I just walk. I turn around. <clears throat> I'm just. I'm no longer having this conversation. <laughs> so, villain, let me let me get this straight. You're not telling them that you were you were captured by this secret society. You're just like uh, room room people questions rat. <laughs> no, I'm rat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you're not telling them that it was a secret society that took you and asked you these questions. You literally just got fucking mugged by someone. They asked you your name and then left. That is what we have right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, I also said I was taken into a room and uh, powder was thrown at me. You literally got fucking kidnapped. They asked you your name and then you got Zone of Truth, told them your name and left. <laughs> that is the situation that we currently have. Yeah. Uh, did I see any eye things or anything? Yeah, well, in the it room. was like the first yeah. thing. Yeah, the you guy saw. was wearing like, yeah. the, the that's it. Class. Yeah. So yeah, uh, he doesn't have the book anymore, but he's like, yes, they have symbol like book. <clears throat> Which sim? Adorned, sim beautiful symbol. Yes, shiny symbol. Yes, yes. <laughs> Was it the butterfly? No, no. Uh, uh, he points at you, your face, I guess, technically. <laughs> technically. Point at head eye. Ah! Okay. Hiroki points at his nose with the, with the I got it. Wait, no, no, God. no, that. And then he pokes you in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you know this what's and funny? just start cracking up. <laughs> like, good, hearty, old person. Matt. You know what's funny, though, is that, like, in real life, I moved my hand to my eye as if it hurt me. <laughs> Your mega mind. <laughs> Literally galaxy brain. <laughs> they told me to not tell anyone. <laughs> well, thank you for telling us. Whoa, okay, yeah. we should get out of here then. They were asking a lot about Grace Ears. Grace Ears, <laughs> dumb. Grace Ears, stupid. Why ask about Grace Ears? <laughs> so he closes your mouth. Perception check, please. From who? Hiroki, I'm assuming, is the one looking around. Oh. Hey. <laughs> nice. So Hiroki, I'm covering you see, his... You see three different people on the roof of the library watching. Just standing there watching you guys. They're all wearing the same dark blue cloaks. With their hoods pulled up. And you see the gleaming clasp. With the eye on it. You see them looking at you, watching you. Hiroki grows a little bit pale and says, Guys, let's leave him alone. It was probably whatever. Like, he, 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 he makes a show of trying to not believe what he said anyway. Yes, yes. Threw dust in my face. I'm drunk. Yes. <laughs> See, he even admitted it. I drank uh, ale. Yes. Yes, uh, stunty ale. <laughs> Performance <laughs> check. Right, I guess, would that be deception? It would be performance, uh, honestly, I guess. Works. Yeah, that's fine. So he, he's performing like he's drunk. <laughs> nice. Yes, I, I drunk, yes. <laughs> so no Hiroki goes Hiroki goes I guess we need to go talk to this one dude right with the 
with the artifacts Professor and the mines. Aranosto. Prof- in the Professor who what now? Aranosto. Aranosto. You couldn't say Ernesto. Aranosto. <laughs> it's Aranosto. It's expressly <laughs> not, Ernesto. not Ernesto because otherwise I just like imagine a skinny Mexican guy with that creepy ass mustache. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> All right, to Professor Aranosto. So you all, make your way, you, all, you all make your way to the the university, which is relatively close by. And yeah, so you all you all walk into this office, and this office is cramped. It's uh, like it's a relatively large office, but there are like maps and tables with like stuff on it. Uh, it's like a very disorganized office, and. You all, like, what you guys see is you guys see somebody, like, you hear somebody, like, talking in the back, like, in, somewhere in this room, and they're just, like, talking to themselves, mumbling, and it's like, no, no, we've searched this area. This, this area is not, not promising. No, no, no measure of significance here. And as you all are looking around, all you see is, like, uh, like, little, like, blonde, blonde curls, like, bobbing up and down under, like, from behind a table, and, uh, as you look over the table, you see this little halfling professor. Hmm. Like, excuse me, are you Professor Ernesto? (laughs) Wow. Not Ernesto, what what are we doing? Wow. Oh, the flub. (laughs) My name is a professor... Let and now you can't say it either. <laughs> That's the problem. Aranosto. <laughs> she says it correctly. Aranosto. My name is Aranosto. Aaron. Aaron. Eluin Aranosto. Yo, I'm not going to be able to say that first name. So, uh, Aaron. Eluin. I think it's more that Bill can't pronounce it. <laughs> uh, both. Erin <laughs> Elwin Aranosto. How may I help you? How Hi, yes, I am Skaven Slate. Here is books. And then he just like picks up a book from the other side of the room and places it. <laughs> Why, thank uh, you gonna, for giving my book to me. I'm gonna, You're welcome. Like, hold up the like slip that was posted on the library. Um, and just be like, this said to come to you to learn more about it. Ah, yes. You are adventurers, are you not? Why are you traveling with, with a slave? He's not a slave. He's just looking like that right now. Well, tell him he's fine to take whatever form he really is. In fact, I'd be more comfortable dealing with people in their true forms. Well, it's not like he's not a Skaven. He's definitely a Skaven. Well, well Skaven slaves versus... Pure Skaven versus Skaven assassins have different body, like More body body-like. types. Oh, okay. So, so he just grows more muscle, basically, in the disguise wearing off. Probably. So, you all are interested in helping me acquire. Go, go acquire some artifacts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Artifacts. Shiny things? We also happen to be looking for one, but... Yes, shiny. What are you looking for? Mayhaps I can help. I feel like if we say shiny too much, um, the bird is just going to come in and fly through someone's forehead. Yeah, well, Ned is, Ned is like... That is a little Never. bit overwhelmed right now and is just like kind of sitting on her like nest on like a villain's like shoulder bulging. That's either in the nest or in the like yeah, nest the folds net, 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 net pockets. Yeah. Yeah, so villain is or Ned is a little bit overwhelmed by the city. Or at least this city. Too much shiny? More of it's underground. It's under a mountain. Mm. Oh yeah, Net doesn't like caves. Yeah, so 
She says, what, what exactly, what artifact are you perhaps looking for? Well. I'm always interested in, in artifacts, and if my knowledge can help, maybe, maybe I am more than willing to share. But after, you've piqued my interest. Afterwards, we will talk about uh, this expedition that I'm planning on taking. So at this point, he looks at Atali, like, artifact person, probably your best bet at finding the artifact if it's here. Or in your it's mind. not here. Uh, but yes. And then he asks, would you like to explain? We are still looking for a magical it. napalm canister, right? So, Hiroki oh, takes out... Okay. Oh. Hiroki... He's not going to show the journal to him. He's just going to, like, look for the dates. And I'm pretty sure you never actually told Hiroki what the artifact looks like. Yeah. No. So, yeah, so he doesn't even know what it looks like. He just knows that you are looking for it. Yes. He says, well, I'm not sure what it looks like, but... Well, do you know what it does? He shakes his head, but he, he also describes... Or does it have historical value? What, what exactly is it? I, I, I am knowledgeable about these things. This is my area of study. Stupid large giant thing. It does have <laughs> what I assume to be historical significance, but I'm curious of... If anyone came through this city with an artifact of historical significance looking for a place to hide it, by the name of... I forgot the guy's name already. Atalan. Atalan. Atalan Dolan, right? Dolan, yeah. Atalan Dolan. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, ah! She says, he was in the city. Yes, I have done business with him and his family before. Um, he also specifies after the the date in his journal. Yeah, he he he. Came, at he came this point, the time. at this point, I interrupt. Did he bear a spear? No, not a full spear. He was. He did say he was carrying a number of artifacts. And I believe one of them was a spearhead, but it's not a full spear. How does Atali take We're this? Straining the urge to shout here. Be villain senseless. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Just uh -huh. a spearhead. Stupid spear oh got Lord. broken. <laughs> oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Did he leave with it? He did not leave it with me, if that's what you're asking. But, but did he leave the city with it? I am not sure. Hmm. Stupid spear got broken. He came here asking me if I knew anything about it. Did you? I did not. No. Uh, well, not more than he knew. I knew it came from from one of the tribes in the Reach. Uh, I know it was made out of made out of dragon bone, and there was some some magic placed upon it, ancestral, ancient magic. I could not just I could not decipher what it did, what it did, but. Uh, and then there was, there was, there was similarities to magic that I found elsewhere. I'm unsure of why, but, um... Where did you find those similarities? It's more of a hunch, really, than anything solid. It's, when you're looking through enchantments, I don't know how, 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 how much about enchantments the rest, any of them know. 
but there are there are certain strings and there's a certain feeling uh, of this of the the enchantment of that spear that felt eerily similar to enchantment to an enchantment I found of uh, other artifacts that I've examined before. But where did the other artifacts come from? Uh, there was one from Ilumkar, um, one from Azalusia, and then there were from all over the world, actually. Specific pieces that seem out of place to a certain extent, but it, it, it's a hunch. It's probably nothing. I didn't even mention it to him. I mentioned it to you all because you seem like a very diverse bunch. Maybe you what? all can make sense of it better than I can. Well, let me help you make sense of it. What artifact from Illumkar had that similar feeling? A standard. A standard? Like uh, one of the like the flag, the flags that you yeah, wear on what, your back. What symbology or whatever was on the the standard? It was one that I'd never seen before. Uh, I. I do not. I do not have a drawing of of it with me. It is in one of my journals somewhere. Um, mayhaps I can find it and present it to you another time. But uh, yeah, um, yes. I'd appreciate. I think we all would appreciate being able to see that drawing at some point and carry on without it. <clears throat> yes, I will. I will. After our discussion, I will look through my journals and see if I can find it. Cool. Nice. Um, any other questions? Or... Yes, yes. Do you know Skaven shiny things? <clears throat> Skaven artifacts? Is that what you're asking for? Yes, yes. Warpstone. Uh, Warpstone is very difficult to find. Many of the Skaven who have it hoard it. Um, no, I do not have any with me. Most of the most of the artifacts here are either that I that I hold on to here are either not magically enchanted, uh, have very little value outside of I personally enjoyed them because I found them. The important pieces I put on display as part of the as a part of the historical display here at the university. Useless shiny things, understandable. <laughs> I ask her where the university is, and I'll write the directions for it. You guys in, are in the university. My journal. Oh, in the university. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you guys are currently at the university. Like she's she's a professor. Okay, then it should be easy to find the the thing the displays from here. So that's not important anymore. Uh, any? Yeah, and so she says. So, uh, does this conclude our discussion about this? Would you like to hear about the job? Yes. Yes. So, uh, how much of do you know about this mountain? Uh, I would, out of character, I would probably know quite a bit, just because it's, you know. Well, make me... On the tier of merit? Make me yeah. a history check. Make you a history? No, fuck you. Okay, then you know nothing. No, I'm, I'm doing it. I was just trying yeah. to find the button. <laughs> <laughs> so it would seem as though I know quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, don't mind me. So yeah, what Hiroki and Anipe, 
you guys would know that um, in these mountains there were, bo- like after the calamity, but still back when known history was very new there were there were there were wars like a series of violent wars in this region right um and it was actually from these wars that uh that the mountain that the the mountains were raised uh these mountains because before there was there was there was the reach and then past the reach the desert of Azalusha met at the edge of the great uh, the grass sea um and it was because of this wars that gods uh, or he- powerful heroes raised these mountains to divide divide the 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 early tribes of Azalusha from the oh, tribes that wander the grass sea to prevent them from slaughtering each other to prevent the constant bloodshed all right makes sense to me so my response would be uh uh, enough i know enough yeah (laughs) and so professor aaron aranosto says i am looking to venture into the mines uh of this mountain to hopefully find remnants of these these wars these artifacts uh left left here um and the problem is though as we venture deeper into the earth there are things monsters that uh both prevent mine mining from operating fruitfully and from uh, academics such as myself from exploring them and figuring out pieces of ancient history. Mm, Those adventurers come in. I can definitely get behind. So, uh, the deal the deal is I I will give you. Objects of historical significance I would like to have. Uh, I would like to I would like to keep for display at, or in study. The, May I make one request? Yes. If it is of historical significance too, and then he um, says his particular region of Ilumkar. He he nods or she she nods and says of course we can. I, I, I merely would like to study these items predominantly. I, I'm learning, and I would like to learn about them. And however, many of these objects, their magic enchantments might have faded. However, you all are adventurers, and should there be items with significant enchantments that remain, of course I would let you have them. But um, again, I'm, I am willing to compensate you fairly for any for any any work that you do and also um you all have full full claim to the bounty of any monsters you kill works for me i mean i'm excited because as you as you probably know the guards and the mining the mining companies here have placed bounties on monsters that wander the the mines it is uh 10 10 gold pieces 10 gold pieces ahead I mean, I'm excited just for the history point, because this is pretty tied with my cool stuff. Again, I am looking for things mostly of historical significance, and if any magic items we find, uh, if uh, you would allow me to study them and make notes on them, then if they are significant magic that can still be used, you can, you can of course, have them. I Hiroki nods and says... Well, it would be nice to have you study them because then you could share with us what you discover. Yes, and you, of course, would be there for protection. I do not fight. I am, an ac- I am a scholar. I'm an academic. So, do we have a deal? I believe we do. And I turn. Okay, okay looks to around. <laughs> but when you look around, he gives a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone else. So she, she she reaches out your hand to, to like the group of you, seeing who will like shake it. I shake your hand with two hands because I am double the, the polite. She nods and she said, "All right, then uh, I will make I will begin to make the arrangements." Uh, 
enjoy your time in the city. I will I will send a messenger to you. Where are you? Where can I contact you? Where can he contact the you? The name of whatever tavern we've been in. Yeah, whatever tavern yeah, we stay in. <laughs> yeah. So she says, I will send a runner to you within the next within the next day or two. Be be prepared. Make any preparations you need. And then she's like, "Yes, okay, finally time." And then she starts like she starts like pulling stuff out and like, uh, like you know, making starting her own preparations. And she says, "I trust you all can see yourselves out." I see myself out. Uh, Kuroki asks if the the museum is open and he'll take a look around. Yeah, so the museum is currently open. Does anybody want to come to the museum? Sure. Felon would like to hit the slave pens at some point in time. Yo, I gotta hit them. I think at this point we could separate the party because we have our quest. Yeah, so. Yeah. And plus, we could probably, like, buy supplies and stuff. Like, Hiroki's point, probably going to buy some flour. As are leaving the library. You, the, the, university the university library? Yeah, the university, not the library. I need everyone to make me a constitution saving throw. Well, fuck. Yay. <laughs> I pass out again. Hey. Yay! <laughs> I rolled a Sticking. six. Sticking true to tradition. I get a Is it something two. in my face? I got a 15. Uh, it's, it, what happens is as you all are leaving the li uh, leaving the university, a big a plume of black black smoke like envelops you. And that's what villain, I'm doing this constitution. Mm -hmm. through. The villain gets kidnapped part two. Uh, Hiroki's going to try and gather everyone. Just like grab everyone. Uh, by so the who? Uh, Adric needs to make one, but Adric's AFK, so I will make one for Adric. Actually, you know what? Adric's just gonna fail. It's his fault for not being here. <laughs> Got him. AFK punishment. Uh, Atali, you are the only one left. Uh, he might be at dinner. I'm not 100 percent sure. It's around that time. Ah, well, okay. Also fails. AFK. Penalty. Um, one second. Sorry, I had to stand up. Oh, what did I miss? And why is everyone making con saves? Oh no, why is everyone <laughs> <laughs> As we're leaving, a big cloud of black smoke, and then we make con saves. Wait, uh, what about a big cloud of black smoke? So we as, as talk to the professor. We, we talk to the professor. As we're leaving the university, that happens. Like, as we're walking out. Okay, lovely. Okay, so does the, does the black smoke do anything to people? You all fall unconscious. Oof. Including Every Hiroki? God Including damn. Hiroki. Oh my goodness. What mm. is the DC on that? Probably like 21. What? 25. <laughs> Wait, I could have saved. Literally couldn't have if saved. I, <laughs> if I rolled a nat 20, I could have saved. Well, a nat 20 just guarantees you a save. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you all... Wait, I might as well use an... Oh wait, never mind. You all I can't. In a room. Villain. This Wait, no, I can't. Hold on. I do choose to indomitable. You use indomitable? Yes. All I right, use so it. As the I... cloud of black smoke fades, like fades around you, uh, your all of your friends are unconscious, just like knocked knocked unconscious, like asleep. Like not like dead or poisoned, just like asleep. And as you like as you use, as you use your physical might to like resist this effect. You see yourself surrounded by twelve people wearing the cloaks with the clasp. Hoods pulled Lovely. Up. You know, the cloak with the clasp. <laughs> um And they're, would they're, it... they're standing in a circle around you. Alright, so is the black smoke like still somewhat there? No, it's it's dissipated at this point. It was like a it's big dissipated and then it yeah, disappeared. Hmm. I wonder how it would be to, uh, what do you call it, to fake passing out at this point as if, like, I had resisted it initially, but oh boy. I don't know. We There's always an option to... 
There's always an option to uh, roll that. Well, he's not. He's not uh, making a. Okay, so they already said we suggest you do not resist. Um, he says. Actually, actually, Emma, what's going to happen is I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. As there, one of them is going to cast charm person on you. Okay, you succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So yeah. he's not looking violent. He's not looking violent. He just kind of looks at them and it's just like, don't hurt my Can friends. Can I help you? Please. <laughs> the one of them, like the one who casts the looks towards one of the other ones, who's, who's like cloak is a little bit more embroidered and seems a little bit more elegant than the others. She's more fancy. Fancy. Yeah, he'll turn to that guy and say, don't hurt my friends, please. Alright, uh... <laughs> Emma, I need you to now make an initiative saving throw. Oh. Wait, but he's not resisting. He's just saying, don't hurt my friends. He's literally just standing there and it's just like, I'll go with you, but don't hurt my friends. Well, he cast Dominate Person on you. So. <laughs> okay, another wisdom save? Yes. Uh, you're brute forcing this. I love it, though. <laughs> Resources. <laughs> yeah, so he casts Dominate Person on you, and you, he, he has you pick up, like, in, like, they, they pick up your unconscious friends, and they make you pick up one of them, um, and okay. you all... You should pick up Villain, because uh, he's Yeah, the I pick up Villain. <laughs> he's the lightest. <laughs> and you all walk, you all, you all, you all walk to, like, uh, you all walk into, like, this, this tunnel, which opens up out of, out of nowhere and closes behind you. And you all walk and walk, and you are led into this room. Where, where, okay, so where did we walk from the university? From the university, you walked into, into like, the side of, like, the cave wall, basically. Did he do anything to open up the cave wall, or? No, you all, you all walked through the, you all walked through, like, an illusion of the cave wall. Oh, okay. And you all end up, and after about... 10 20 minutes of walking you all are led to this room where um where um they one of one of the hooded members like takes takes a plant and like smashes it up into like a mortar in a mortar and pestle and like passes it under everyone's nose and you all wake up and the dominate person spell is released so you all are now awake <laughs> Ah uh, yes, this is these are the people I was not supposed to tell you about. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hiroki immediately face palms, just like Why? <laughs> they only ask questions. No harm. So you did tell them about us. I told them to not tell you told me not to tell you about them. <laughs> who are you all and why are you here and why are you looking into our order um Alanya is going to be actually kind of annoyed that like just Loki got kidnapped um no this is Haiki got kidnapped Haiki Hi got kidnapped um and just be like my name is Alanya oh. And I have no idea who the fuck you are. Can I go now? No, you may not. Hiroki says, you know, the more she finds out about what's going on here... The more she finds out, the less likely any of you will be to leave. Answer yeah, so questions. then why can't she leave? Because she's not lying. We literally discovered her under Azolution Grounds dead and then somehow she became alive in the blink of an eye you all have looked into our order our order that prefers to remain secret and discreet you know if you would prefer that you should stop having books about you out in the open and maybe don't kidnap like you know a bunch of people in the middle of the street just a thought Alanya also, is just going to be very confused because she has not looked into them or noticed any of this <laughs> at all. A, a pretty bang up job of being, uh, and I, I do really <laughs> exactly <laughs> air quotes around secret. Also, you kidnapped dumbest person in party. 
we are beginning to realize that. (laughs) 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 Hiroki cracks up. He can't. He can't deal with that. That's so funny. You all come into the city from Azalucia. Yeah, correct. Do I look Azalucian to you? But yes, we did. You did. Well, we were there. We were in Azalucia. That is true. Not Our chapter in Azalucia tells us of what happened there and the events that transpired there. And you come here looking for artifacts. Traveling to Illumkar. Amidst a time of trouble. And somehow you all seem to be a part of it. So, yes. Wait, so they told you. I, I, I would. Uh, our let's say a part of, of it more have to be avoided. I think less a part of it and more caught up in it would be a proper proper way to put that. You see you see them like giving you like an the evil eye and says, <laughs> No, I believe many of you are caught up in this. We've seen you wandering with the one we know known as the seer unto the storm. Yeah, I like, you we know... We have eyes on him. He is here in this city. However, he is a bit too powerful for us to take in the way that we have taken you. So, you will answer our questions. See, no interrogation, just questions. Film, that is an interrogation, strictly speaking. I, 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 this is a part of Villain's persona now, so... Uh, no, I know. I'm just, I'm so just Hiroki, says, Hiroki says, I'm pretty sure you already know who we are. Let's cut to the chase. Why are we here? You all are cut up in the midst of something. Correct. Oh, uh, Nick, by the way, you all have been kidnapped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, you all have been kidnapped. Yeah. It's yeah, okay. Because yeah, yours truly used Indomitable so that he would know where he was being taken. It's okay because this is all villain's fault. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of a little bit complicated. Objectively, it is like oh, you all, you four of our faults. You have to uh, to, go, to go into the mountains and fight things in the mines and retrieve artifacts. Okay. So we did get our mission. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now you are kidnapped. So one hundred percent villain's fault, though. Kusi kumsa, you know, whatever. Carpe diem, something like that. Um, yeah. What so, did Carp have to do with this? <laughs> so, so wait, so, that gets you to laugh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so yeah, they they look at you and they look around and say, <laughs> "What do you all know of what is going on in the world?" I am just, uh, you know, a bunch of people think a new calamity is coming, so there's that. Fuck the sun. (laughs) Wait, wait. (laughs) Did it happen? Skylar, did it happen exactly like that? Hiroki goes, you know, a bunch of people think there's another calamity happening, and then dead silence, and then you're like, F the sun. <laughs> yes, one hundred percent. Okay, that's exactly how it how happens. Feel about an Ipe saying "fuck the sun." Nick, I I already yelled "hey." Hey. <laughs> uh, so she so she she turns and she turns to the 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 the, the cloaked woman turns to. Turns towards Hiroki and Adric and says, "You are oblivious. You are you. You cannot play stupid with me. You are I'm hiding. Not, you are hiding. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing. Stupid. I am not playing. I am not playing stupid. I am stupid. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So you know, information for information, fair trade. What are we doing that here? That is not the way this exchange goes." Gotta but be. it could be. It could be. I don't want to hurt you. 
if you don't want to hurt me. I will help you if you help me. Our order seeks balance and preservation of this world. We will and I'd rather not die either or have my cause well, and our goals. Wait, what did he say? Our organization, our order, seeks balance in the world and seeks to prevent ruin. Should you help should you be aligned with our cause, we have no reason to hurt you. Should you should you oppose our cause, we will destroy you. And what would your cause be other than just having the world not explode? Because so far our agendas seem to be fairly similar. I'd rather not die. Our order has prevented the return of the Calamity three times in our history. Question. But what year is themselves. it currently and what year did I die in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm what curious if this existed while I was alive. It did. All right. Probably didn't know about it. Probably unless not. Unless I did know about it. Probably not. Quick question. Is the Sun Speaker a member of your order? No. Do you know what he's currently doing? Yes. So you're telling me we can go back and whack him and you won't stop us? <laughs> It's whack time. Yeah, training montage and illum car, right, guys? Training <laughs> montage time. <laughs> I mean, kind of, because we have things to do in this area. We well, have in we the... have reports from our chapter from the chapter in Azalusha, though they have been silent of recent. Maybe because they're dead. Probably, so, you know, yeah. the Sun Speaker kind of, you know, religious purgings and all. Yeah, uh, Akhenaten can go. For, I mean, wait, what was the guy's name again? So she again turns towards Adric and Hiroki and says, "You are playing. You all, you know. I know you know more than you are letting on." And you will tell us what you know now. Okay, unironically, I don't know what we know. Yeah, same. More than that. Nice. Like, it's we probably about, already. you know, the the slivers. I don't know. Maybe. Well, what do you want to know? She turns Dude, she towards, she turns towards some of the people. Again. She turns towards some of the people and said, take the rest of them out. And, like, the rest of you except for Adric and Hiroki are let out. So am I let out? Yes. Or okay. not let out, but you are taken to a different room. Okay. You are still very much captive. Are there chairs in this other room? Yes, there's a bench. Nice. <laughs> you do you mean to claim that you know nothing? Well, it depends on what you want to know. You're not being very specific Actually, with you what you want to know. This is a good time. Uh, joop, joop. Have fun, guys. Yes, Do you mean to say you know nothing? Nothing about what? She turns. To there were lots of events that happened, so we got to know which event you're curious about. What do you know of your heritage? Of Cheekap? Say again? What'd you say? Of Cheekap? Cheekap Kamui. Oh, uh. So you do know your clan. What do you know about the history of your clan? We have similar ideas to what I read about in that book of the libraries about you. We seek knowledge. And we seek to use that knowledge for benefit of society. I see. You truly are ignorant of your heritage. What about you? Gesturing towards Adric. Well, I'm a follower of Am Amalarasi. 
I'm on the pilgrimage to learn about the world. I'm not, I'm, I'm fairly confident that I'm ignorant of whatever you are speaking of. Hmm, I see. Let us go join your friends then. I have underestimated you, or I have overestimated you. Arts versus book smarts kind of deal. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you this man, are, you all, he, you he are, might as well have grown up in Compton. You all, are, you all are brought back into the room. Well, that was quick. Turns out I overestimated those in your party. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that is quite apparent. Yes, yes. Uh, in character, I did also hearty chuckle. I am dumb rat, yes. Dumb rat, stupid giant, big cow, Old water lady. Yes, yes. I'm gonna glare at you again. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't call you dead this time. But I am not dead. Nor am I. Hiroki you then asks, me. Are you happy now? No. <laughs> no. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Gave him the good old god. You come here searching for things. Things that will make the upcoming events unstable. Know this, your actions impact more than yourself. They have far-reaching impacts, farther than you could see. Know what you think that we're here we're all here for but i know that right now we're trying to go make some money yeah that's about the uh that's that's yeah, why we're we currently here i like shinies promised someone we'd do a job with them they're just they're just looking at you staring do you need anything else from us? No, you all know nothing of importance. Mayhaps we shall speak again when you've learned more <laughs> about your place in the world. So do I now not yes tell them? What has been said still stands. Should you tell anyone what happens about our order, there will be consequences. And with that, I need you all to make constitution saving throws again. Oh, not this water. again. <laughs> See how many of us can net 20. No, I wanted to net 20 again. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, every, everyone fails. I got a five. Mm, yes, a five. Unless uh, Atali can add funny this shit. Nope. <laughs> yeah. So you all, you yeah. all, you all wake up in your tavern, Hiroki. You can't remember where the entrance was. It's almost like someone cast the spell alter memory on you, or modify memory. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> So we, do we just completely forget the interaction, or just no, part of it? You just rem you just can't remember how to get to the room, how to access the secret society's like chambers. Do I at least remember where we were taken, or where we were taken from? Yes, you remember being taken. You remember being taken from the the university, and then from there, you the next thing you remember is the room. So you remember the black cloud of smoke and them standing around you. Yeah. And then you remember the room. Okay, yeah. So Hiroki definitely could figure out that his mind was wiped. Yeah, oh yeah, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> he goes, of course, of course. I just kind of shake my head. I'm like old person annoyed. 
<laughs> I'm just going to quietly ask Kuroki, you think that was anything about what the broker was telling us about? It depends. You know, like, let me let me recall what the broker has said, and by that I mean <laughs> let me look at the notes. Let me read. You know that stuff about like brilliant radiance, Twilight of oblivion. The yeah, it probably definitely has to do with uh, what the broker has told talked to us about. Hmm. He did mention to many of us to our roots. And my spirit guide keeps telling me to think about my legacy. And I can't remember all the childhood stories that I've been told. Hmm. I can only remember what I studied later. And I didn't study much of my roots. And with that, I think we will call today's session, because next session, you all will be venturing into the mines of Glitterheim. Hmm. Any preparation that you all would like to do, you can request equipment in one of the... Survival equipment! Yes, yeah, survival equipment. Yeah. But for caves. But for caves. It's still survival equipment! Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you all will. You all have found a fairly lucrative job, and yeah, and also definitely more about a secret society. And Haruki's yeah, definitely, definitely not going to try and find where they're at. Done some good stuff, you know. A little bit of lore information there. Alter memory. They kidnapped the dumbest person in the party and then the told him not to tell anyone. Snooping around their, their, their hideout. But then told him not to tell anyone and then... You know... They, they maybe should have figured out that he was maybe not the most intelligent. Yeah. Because what if someone like random was just going to the book? Well, it wasn't the fact that you were just a random person looking at the book. It was they have chapters all across the continent, and they recognized you from from the reports. From the, the report is just a dumb rat. Stupid, <laughs> stupid dumb rat. All right. Understandable. Have a good day. Yeah, and with that, uh, that is today's session. Sorry, it was a little shorter than normal, but. Uh... That is what I have prepared. I didn't know what you guys, which you, which way you guys would want to go, so I did not prepare past this point. I wasn't sure if you guys were going to immediately go pursue the spear, or immediately just leave for Loom Car, or if you all wanted to make some money, and you all chose money. So money, money is good. Money. Yep.